Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back again with another video and in this video based on many requests that I've been getting how to install your operating system on your Toshiba laptop so I'm gonna take you on a step by step how to get it booted up from a USB drive I made another video how to burn a Windows image into your USB drive I'll leave that link in the description so you can follow my other video to see how you can burn the Windows image in here and in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to boot it up from here on your Toshiba model. You can have a different, pretty much all the Toshiba brands, they have the same key combination to boot up from the USB drive. And in this model, and, this, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to boot it up from here. If you have changed your hard drive or you just want to format your hard drive with a new uh, image file. All right. First thing before anything, this one is a Toshiba L645D version, but this applies for any in Toshiba. Pretty much Toshiba to get to the BIOS uses F2 or for a boot select uses F12. So pretty much what you want to do, you want to grab your USB drive that has a Windows image into it. And obviously you have to back up your files if you want to format, if you have a new hard drive in there, so don't worry about it. So what do you want to do in here? It's I'm going to see if I can get my screen not reflect on this one. If you want to get to the BIOS, I'm going to show you guys how to get to the BIOS first by pressing F2 as soon as you power on. So power on and keep tapping every few seconds, every couple of seconds until you get to the BIOS. Just keep tapping and it will take you to the BIOS menu. Inside the BIOS menu right here, then you can go down to the boot menu all the way to the back here. Let me see, I'm the keyboard right here. And you're gonna see you have the boot order, hard drive and everything and the USB is all the way down there. Okay, that's how you can change the boot order if you wanna change the boot order. All right, now we're gonna press escape and click yes. Now we're gonna tap on F12. So keep tapping on F12. Actually, I was late for that, so just have to see the screen. So to restart, press Alt, Control, Alt, Delete, and keep tapping on that F12. And now we're gonna get this boot menu. As you guys remember on the other on the BIOS, it only shows the boot menu area. Now we're gonna scroll, go down, and we're gonna choose number six, which is a USB. Yours might be on different number. Just choose USB and press enter. Now you just, it's gonna go and come back and it's gonna do a tiny line over there. Just leave it like that. So we're gonna leave it for a few seconds. Yours might not take as long as that this one. So we see here there's a sign there and there's a Windows logo coming up, so. Now uh, there we go. Now we get the, to choose your language, you want to choose US, if you download a US image, and uh, just going to click next. And now you're going to click install now. Alright, once you get to this Windows, it's going to tell you for the Windows activation license. In here, you're just going to click I don't have a product key. There's a link on the bottom, it says I don't have a product key. Click on the I don't have a product key. And it's going to take you to a list. It might take you here and it might not take you here. If it takes you here, choose your window that you want Windows 10 or home single version or Windows 10 Pro. In this version, I'm going to choose Windows 10 Pro. And click next. And now here's the agreement. You want to read the agreement or if you don't, you're just going to click accept agreement. And you're going to click next. Down here it says install Windows only. You're not gonna do an upgrade. You're gonna click on the bottom one. It says custom installation. So click on a custom installation bar here on the bottom. Now, if you get a whole bunch of uh, partition here, you wanna delete all the partitions. So you're gonna select each partition and click delete. So delete, if you have five, six partitions, doesn't matter. You have to delete all the partitions. Delete, yes. Once everything is deleted, it's going to say drive zero and you have 
in one partition right there. Is that 250, 240 gig? And you're gonna click next. Now we're gonna let it run there for about as long as it takes. It might take about 20 minutes to do this process and it's gonna restart a few times and it's gonna take you to another uh, setup. So you can actually configure your stuff. And while you do this, make sure you have no internet connection. You pull up the cable for internet, anything like that. So you don't want access to the internet while you're doing this. That's the best way. So I'm just gonna let this one run. I'm just gonna fast forward, probably. All right, once we finish it, it will bring you to here, to this menu, and to choose your, uh, it's going to tell you to choose your region. So you're going to choose your region, United States, and you're going to click Next. And next step is going to give you how to choose more options. Your keyboard layout, US. And add layout, just click Escape. And it's going to tell you to choose Wi-Fi network. Just skip this one. I click I don't have internet. Because that's going to be much faster and better. And you're going to click on continue with a limited setup. Just click on a limited setup. And put a name. This is a Toshiba. Click next. Password, leave it blank for now. You can set it up later. Now in this step, you want to uncheck all this uh, stuff that they have in here, just check it, uncheck them. So go ahead and uncheck all of them. And click accept. Next click not now. And uh, you're just gonna wait a few minutes and uh, about, I will say one minute, and then you should be inside the desktop all ready to go. And if you wanna update your drivers and everything like that, just do a Windows update. I'll show you in a second. All right, once you get to the Windows inside here, I'm just gonna open a Explorer here so it, the auto focus, it can focus on something. You're gonna click maybe later on the this Microsoft Edge. And before you connect to the internet, it's very important to go to the start menu. And you see all these arrow short, shortcuts here. You're gonna right click on them and you're gonna unpin them. These are all those blood words that uh, they come included. As soon as you have internet, they will start downloading the Candy Crush and all those uh, uh, blood words that will slow down your computer. Just un right click and unpin it from the start menu. Even this one, unpin it. I'll usually install my other office package that I have. I don't like the 360. So I click uninstall on this one and click uninstall. On all this, I click unpin. Microsoft Office here, I uninstall it. Unless you have a license key, keep it. And this one, I unpin it and unpin. Once you did all this, then you can simply go to the settings. And now you can connect to a Wi-Fi network uh, that you want. Just connect to your Wi-Fi. And then you want to go down to Windows Update on the setting. Security and Update. And in here you can click check for update. And it's going to be a whole bunch of updates. You're going to go sit about one hour through the updates. Depending on your internet connection. So once you did the update, you're going to do a few restart. And you should be ready to go. Alright guys, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to do to install your own Windows on your Toshiba laptop. If you have any questions or requests, please feel free to leave it in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.